Hey everybody, this is Chuck coming to you from Hudson, Wyoming, where I will be observing the solar eclipse, the total solar eclipse. We are right in the path of totality. I am at my sister-in-law's house. I feel very fortunate to be here with about 20 other family members. We have had campers and tents and all kinds of things set up. You can see behind me, I've got the scope all set up with the solar filter and the CCD camera. The skies are a little cloudy, but we should be good. We're gonna keep an eye on that. There are also some fires that may be causing some smoke. The traffic is heavy on this little 789 highway out here, and it is insane if you try to go into someplace like Cheyenne. It is bumper to bumper. It looks like LA, just take away the buildings, and you've got an idea of what the traffic looks like. But hey, it's only in one direction, so maybe you could sneak over to the other lanes and go the other way and pass all those people. I don't know, it's up to you. No, don't do that. Uh, this is being recorded beforehand. I'm not going to be doing this live. The bandwidth won't hold up and I figure the internet will be crushed. But uh, for now, I will be recording it. It is about quarter after eight in the morning. I'm all set up and ready to go. We're a couple hours away from the start of the eclipse and I will bring you more as it comes. Thanks. I am standing right outside my sister-in-law's house on Highway 789. You can see the traffic is a little heavy. Well, relatively speaking, because normally on a Monday, about 20 to 10 in the morning, you would see a car an hour, maybe. I'm here with my brother-in-law, Daryl, and my other brother-in-law, Daryl. <laughs> and we've got about 40 minutes till the light show begins. This is from Hudson, Wyoming. Ooh, we got a break in the traffic. We were thinking about doing some silly things like hold up a sign that says the end is near, put on a tinfoil hat, and uh, sell a sign for parking. Five dollars in this empty parking lot behind me. Why nobody is there, nobody knows. But uh, the, the people are apparently going to Shoshone, which is, what, about a half hour north of here? But they're, they're going very slowly and they're probably gonna hit traffic jams. That's supposed to be the center line of the path of totality. We're still well within it. We could go 30 miles north for an extra 30 seconds of totality. But you know what? I'm good with the minute and minute and a half we've got here. We're still gonna see the corona. We're still gonna see Bailey's beads. We're still gonna see the shadow snakes. The clouds are still a little cloudy, but not too bad, not too bad. So this is Highway 789 in Wyoming, just outside of Hudson. In fact, I think the Hudson city limit sign is right there. And I will talk to you when we get started with the light show. All right, the light show has begun. We have everybody out here. We have a few more scopes. Gonna step up this little berm here. You can see what's going on behind me. We have scopes. I put the LCD on. We've got the moon partially covering. We got about probably 10% at this point. It's uh, 10.30. Started about 10 minutes ago. So we are in the progress. We have people looking through their glasses. We have people looking through scopes. Lisa's at the hydrogen alpha filter right now. Looks pretty slick. And uh, it's getting exciting. Getting exciting. Real evidence of a solar eclipse. The moon is doing a nice job moving across in the direction it was supposed to. And uh, we will come back at you later. Maybe it'll be a little darker. Bye. We're getting close. It's about 15 minutes totality. We've got this big cloud hanging up that's making kind of a mess of things. But uh, we've got hope that we'll see enough enough uh, sun. It's making a mess of the telescopes. It's getting dimmer here. You can't really tell from the video. But uh, we've got our glasses. We've got our coolers. We've got our telescopes. And we've got our crowd gathered here in Terry's backyard. So, about 15 minutes to go. There's just a crescent of the sun left. And fingers crossed this cloud will get out of the way or at least thin out enough. Hopefully. Talk to you in a bit.
Okay, we are just a few minutes away from totality. This is my LCD. It's actually looking pretty good there. We have just a sliver, sliver, sliver of the sun left. It's getting darker. It's amazing how much light you can get out of that little sliver of the sun. I hear dogs barking in the distance and our dogs doing nothing. <laughs> Good job, Tuck. We do have a bit of cloud cover, which is not in our favor, but it's thin enough to see through. It's getting exciting. Getting I exciting. Think the cloud is going away. We're almost. Yeah, I'm surprised how crisp this is coming in. It was, it was tough to get this image not to blow up before. There we go. Don't know if we're going to get to see Bailey's beads or the corona quite right. But it's coming. Bailey's beads is when you see the light oh, coming yeah, through I the valleys that. of the moon yeah. as we cover. There we go. Covering. I hope it comes back. We might have to sacrifice someone's child. Julie. Oh, Julie. nice. Where did you go? Yeah, it's the best image I've had all day. Yep. <laughs> it was not blown out. It's getting darker. Oh, hey, we have shadows. We have nice crisp shadows. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what's on the Let's see, can we get the shadows of my hat? Are they crescents? They're very dim. They're almost too dim to see. All right. The holes in my hat don't quite make the crescent. Where's the colander? I think the colander. It's getting darker. Oh, and I have. I thought I had my sunglasses on. Oh, now we got Sammy on the bottom. That's okay. Almost there. The camera is straining. Man, it's getting dark fast now. <laughs> okay, we're halfway there. There we go. When is it? Oh my god. Is it big? Do you have a box yeah, that you said? It's it's going. Are you recording? When your phone is on. Going. Nope. Oh, shoot. Hey. Going. When your phone is going. Yeah. It's still okay, amazing how much okay. light you get out of that little sliver. Yes. I mean, oh, look at this. And. Two more seconds. There it goes. Look at that. Look at that. Oh Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Woo! That Woo we have totality. And we have corona. That is amazing. It's kind of purple on the bottom. I see a star. Oh, there's Jupiter uh, Mar Venus. That's Venus. Venus? We have Venus over here. Where's the where's the worldwide sun like sunset? sunset? We have sunset around the 360 degree horizon, and it's still getting darker. <laughs> that is a beautiful corona. That is gorgeous. Now we should have Mars out here somewhere too, but I can't see behind the clouds. This would this would be very scary if you were not aware of science. I can't even see the people on this camera. Do you think this is where they got? Pretty cool. Wow. We have we have the dim twilight around the 360 degree horizon. We are in totality for another few seconds, and. And okay, here it comes. Yeah. It's purple at the, about the three o'clock position. Very, very cool. The camera is not doing it justice. That is, okay, it was worth the trip. Here it comes. Watch for it. There's the diamond ring. Hooray! The sun came back! Like an alignment? Where are we on the camera? It moved! Oh, there it comes on yours. That's a little. Did it look 
looks like yeah. a Daylight is coming back. Watch how fast this gets to be bright again. We have super sharp shadows. I didn't see any sand snakes, but we were we were all looking at the sun. <laughs> Trying the colander experiment again. Yeah, it's not, it's not quite clear enough. That was cool. I wonder if my mom's time lapse is coming out. I'm wondering if the clouds messed up our sand snakes, or shadow snakes. <coughs> they were on the sand, so they would have been sand snakes. What'd you think, Lisa? Let's go again. The light right now is very eerie. You're right, the, the light right now is a Super HD. Oh, really? Yeah. I saw it. Yeah. sun has returned to Wyoming. Totality has com been complete for about a half hour. The light has come back and all the cars are heading south. <laughs> so <laughs> the exodus has begun. I return you back to your normal lives. Thank you for watching this video. It was a lot of fun. Very exciting. I look forward to the next one on April 8th, 2024. <sighs> God willing, we'll be there. <laughs> Take care and have fun. Talk to you later.